Yes sir, YouTube, what is going on my YouTube family? It is your boy Demon 10K. I'm back with a banger for y'all, my personal opinions. And I'm just gonna let y'all know what I personally feel I need to be put in NBA 2K23. But before we get to that, man, I just want to apologize for my absence. I have been finding some fun games to play. And next year, basically in September, it's going to get crazy. I can't wait for that Call of Duty. I'm dropping all type of Call of Duty videos, all type of 2K23. And I'm definitely probably going to cop that Madden. But trust me, the content is about to get flooded. I'm locked in. I'm done with this childish stuff I've been on. And I just, whoever been rocking with your boy on the TikTok platform, anything, I really appreciate y'all. Look, we're, we still on the road to 500. I know we would have been there if I stayed consistent. But that's on me. It is what it is. I'm back. And now, let's just have fun and let's keep producing these best bangers y'all run up the like run up the subscribe button and comment what y'all believe should be in 2k23 now on my personal list this is number one there's no order of how important it is to me everything on this list is important to me i wrote it down so i'm not gonna forget i'm everything that i'm saying i feel like will greatly improve the game i might be missing some stuff but that's what the comment section is for but look though first thing i need as you can see on the screen right now i'm in the right I need new scenery in the rec center or something that can change because we had the same rec since I want to say 2K18, no, not 2K18, 2K19. We had the same rec scenery and don't get me wrong, yes, it is interesting. It is the rec center, but I kind of want something different. Like I, I kind of want to hoop on like a rooftop or like the mellow center for four quarters, something kind of fun, something different, or like have an option to where you could switch the settings. like. I feel like 2K doesn't realize how many games you can play that you can switch the settings of your gameplay, such as Call of Duty. But 2K really don't do that much, to, in my opinion. Like, I miss the old stuff. I'm kind of like an old-fashioned guy. I miss the old stuff, but I also am a fan of new scenery. But look, that could be just me. Me personally, I want new setting in the rec center. I'm a 5v5 player. I need new settings. Number two we need now this is something slight don't buff it completely to where it was as bad as it was in 21 not next gen 21 current gen 21 was terrible but the paint defense on 21 i mean on 22 it was fine it just need to be slightly tweaked up a little bit because i feel like because i'm a quick game player i love quick games i love playing against my homeboys it's fun to me but I personally feel like when you in the paint and you just mashing, no matter who you got, you can have one of the best paint defenders in the game, like Dave Robinson or something, or, or Shaq, and they somehow will get bullied by people in real life they would just take advantage of, pause, they would just go stupid against. I personally feel like there's a lot of things that need to be tweaked with it, especially with the paint mashing. If you hit a good post move on any big man, you deserve the score. That that's no doubt but when you just sitting here mashing the paint nah that gotta go and i heard it's bad on current gen 2k22 i haven't played it but i heard it's bad on current gen 2k22 so yeah just, just tweak it slightly up for people i mean on current gen something like you need it a lot but i'm talking solely for next gen because i'm a next gen player please just bump it up a little bit and it will be perfect the paint will be perfectly fine at number three no more ghost contest I swear in Team Pro Am, this is all you go through is ghost contest. And if you don't know what a ghost contest is, it's basically if you on the wing and you look like you're wide open, if a locked in defender is only looking at you, not even putting his hands up, you're gonna shoot like you're contested. When whole time you're wide open. I they need to really unless you have the enhanced jump shot contest badge on. You should not be getting those type of animations. If you have that badge on, yes, you kind of have to respect it that they're getting it because they earn the takeover. That's what the takeover does. I have no problems when it's in that scenario. But if you're a wide open sharpshooter and you're getting contested slightly, nah, dog. Y'all got to get rid of that for real because it's bad. It needs to be, you need to be there in order to get contested. Now, I can see if you're jumping towards someone and you might get a little contest. That's normal. But if your arms are down and you somehow get a contest, there's something wrong, especially in a video game. This is not real life. Now, on the topic of Team Pro-Am, please take out League Night. 
I understand League Night, the the concept of it when y'all was in the lab thinking about it. I trust me, I personally understand. But me, me and my squad, we play at night. We love when nighttime plays. I'm a nighttime player. I work at night. Everything I do is at night. I'm making this video at night. So when I want to play the game, I'm not about to wake up at one in the afternoon to play the game. I got stuff to do. I'm not about to be playing the game at one in the afternoon. Me and my five. We got we nighttime players. Like I said, everybody got jobs. We not trying to play in the middle of the day. Like I understand there's a lot of people that have to do it, but I feel like if you have to keep it, make it one week off, one week on. Like one week it'll be from 12 to 8, and then another the next week after it'll be from like 8 at night to like 6 in the morning. There's people that play in the middle of the night. And nine times I tell you, you can't find games because they're unranked. We want to play where it count. Unranked is cool for practicing, but you can have separate modes just like how you have private match. You can click on to choose to play that. My team, we always want to play uh, ranked. Like, unranked is not, we're not going for 250,000 and whatever you want to call it. We ain't doing that. So we always, always want to play. So 2K, please think about that for the people that play at night. The game is always open. It ain't like the game is a damn store. It don't close and open when they want to. It's always open. So make it available, the um, settings or whatever available at all times. Next on my list, <sighs> this is going, this is going to uh, hurt a lot of people's feelings, but it needs to be said because it ain't going to hurt mine. Penalize the off-ball players for people like myself that enjoy modes like my team, quick game. I don't have problems with off-ballers in quick games because the cards are not OP. But in my team, it is bad. Like, all people do is off-ball with a center. And I don't understand. My thing on off-balling is if you have a card that has Hall of Fame clamps and Hall of Fame pickpocket, you already 2K already give are giving you the tools to be a good defender. All you gotta do is do it yourself. Why do you have the AI doing it? My personal opinion: if I if I lose to a off baller, I didn't lose to that person. I lost to the AI because you didn't guard me straight up. You didn't play me straight up. The only time I accept a little bit of off balling, a little bit, is if someone's setting the screen and you click on. Clicking on is normal because the AIs don't know what to do on screens. But aside from that, if you're sitting there watching the AI guard full court all game, nah, you're not valid to me. So please make the off ball sag off or something so we can torch them up and make someone click on the press up. And 2K11, 2K12, when you played over your homeboy's house, even online, you didn't have to worry about that. I don't remember ever having to play against off ballers back then. That's why the game was so fun because everyone wanted to see who was the best at offense and defense by guarding each other and by going at each other on offense and defense. This off balling wave is just sad. Like the whole community is off ballers, and then they gonna talk. They talk trash to you after they do it. Me personally, hey, it couldn't be me. I'm gonna guard you straight up. You're gonna get a good game out of me. I'm not trash. But look. 2K, please penalize these AI off-ballers. You off-balling, you get cooked. That should be the rule. You off-balling, you get cooked. Now, another thing, this reverts to Team Pro-Am and point guards. I need a unpluckable buff because I make six, seven point guards. Yes, I should be penalized a little bit. I, I already get penalized. I'm not that fast. But I shouldn't, if I have a decent ball control and I have unpluckable on like silver gold, I shouldn't be getting plucked every five seconds point guards such as lamello um lonzo you don't see them get plucked every five seconds like you do on this game and they are tall they were mellow six seven six six the lonzo six 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 seven like they don't get plucked every five seconds like you do in the, on this game this game is really bad when it comes to pickpocket and also this is going to hurt someone like me but you gotta nerf interceptor because interceptor is op sometimes honestly i ain't even gonna give them that charge because they did make the update to where if you don't hit square you don't get it that's good do that on quick game in my team please because it is bad on them if you pass in any one direction they're going to pluck that nine times out of ten but aside from that gameplay wise i think the gameplay was fine this year they just need to add a couple more events to make the game a little bit more like it make you attached to it that's why i kind of think that it's Slowly, I think this is going to be one of the better 2Ks because this is the Jordan year and my favorite player on there. So hopefully they do not mess this game up. 
that's all I really got. My wish list is simple. Fix Team Pro-Am, penalize off-ballers, make a new rack scenery, even park. I make an event to it. Oh, that's another thing. Make an event to where you can play in the old parks like River City, Old Town, Sunset. Make an event. You don't have to permanently make it, but for people like me that want to revisit the old times, make it called Throwback Thursday or Old School Sunday or something like that. And you playing in the old parks. Like, I'm telling you, it's so much things they can do that I don't understand why they don't listen to us as players. Because I know they do not play this game as much as us. But there's a lot of things that they can do. And they can make this game way better. They, they did right by the seasons. I do agree. The seasons did make people play it all year long. Even though a lot of people didn't. But that's because the game is kind of repetitive. There's so many things they could do to make this game fun. Everyone loves basketball games. It's the only real reliable game that we got. So why not make the best of it? Y'all don't realize how much y'all can make this game better. But, hey, that's personally me, though. That's my wish list. I need y'all to comment if you think I forgot anything. Everyone plays different modes, so you probably got some things about stage and all that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But look, though. It's been your boy Demon Tank. Hey, comment below if you have any ideas. Subscribe if you're new. We on the road to 500. I am officially back. I cannot wait for this new chapter. These new games is coming out. It is your boy Demon Tank. K. Hey, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Y'all be safe, man. I'm out this night.